Hear ye, hear ye. Another year of best ball contest has officially started. Uh, there are some sickos that have already drafted fantasy best ball contest for 2024. Some of them have drafted quite a bit of best ball teams, but not me. I like for people to see the maturation from first look to knowing so much about a contest that you can draft with your eyes closed. <laughs> and so that's what you're getting today. <laughs> you are getting the first look here on the Swolecast on RotorGrinders.com. You think it's static from the Swolecast? I was like, yep, that's me. I just want you guys to know I'm total dust. <laughs> I'm the problem. Hear ye, hear ye. Give it to the guy with the crypto dunes, Abby, to not understand content. <laughs> I should have known you getting 30 likes was directly written by someone else. <laughs> you know me. I don't do a, a ton of research before the show. I put no research into this. Don't know if it's true at all. You're on the right show. To it, bro. Live a little. <laughs> live a little. Just live a little, guys. All right. Welcome in. It's a swole cast here on RotorGrinders.com. David Kitchen. Alongside Peter Overzet and and Davis Maddock and uh, and guys, I'm just gonna say it. I apologize for the show running a little bit behind. Usually it's you, Pete's fault. You, you don't have to apologize, Dave. It's not your fault this time. It's not Dave. your fault. It's not your fault. Well, I feel I still feel responsible. I mean, ultimately it's Sosa's fault, but um, you know, I, I'm I'm sorry. Um, also, would like to say. It has been so long since I've drafted a best ball draft that I'm having to currently reset my password. Um, Kitchen forgot so. his password is what he's trying to say. That's uh, that's a feature, not a bug. Underdog saw your exposures last year and said, let's do a little uh, hand of God intervention here uh, for old David Kitchen. Yeah, just let's make sure they are uh, the same. Okay. All right. I think we're I think we're good to go. How about I do the overzets overview while you get logged into your account, and then we can do a draft. Oh, How about God. it? I would freaking love it. He's got that dog in a butt. He's got that dog in a butt. Overzet overview. Come on. Yeah, I was not sure if we were going to do Overzet's overview because last year when we did the draft shows, we didn't have time for them. But uh, then I looked at the the news, the landscape, and I said, there's some things I have to get off my chest. Uh, the first being, we didn't have a show last week. Um, a lot of people were wondering what happened there. Kitchen said he didn't want to draft without knowing who Deshaun Watson was playing in week 17. <laughs> He tried to get us to not draft today, and we said enough is enough, Kitchen. We have to draft even without the schedule. Um, in other news, Tom Brady said he regretted doing the roast because of the effect it had on his kids. This is also why Kitchen will never do a roast, not because he doesn't have thick skin, but because it would be too hard on Davis to hear all of those <laughs> jokes. Uh I decided to let Davis do a podcast with me and Patrick Laird recently, despite the Lauby incident. And during that recording, we were delighted to have Bucks tight end Coquifed also join us for a couple of segments. Davis and I are cornering quite the podcast niche, which can best be described as new heights if it were guys who you played one time in a showdown lineup. <laughs> <laughs> MVS signed with Buffalo this week. Liam sent out a global alert to all BeatBestBall.com <laughs> subscribers. <laughs> Congratulations to Liam, by the way, on the launch of his new site. Miriam Webster actually announced you can see a photo of Liam now in their newest edition when you look up the phrase, striking while the iron is hot. <laughs> <laughs> what is the temperature of Liam's iron right now? Sub <laughs> sub zero. Liam Liam is Mr. Frost right now. <laughs> uh, love you, Liam. Uh, Rashi Rice continues to rack up incidents like three yard crossers. In an attempt to take the heat off of him, Harrison Butker decided to open his mouth. 
In a commencement Oof. speech at a Catholic college, Butker slammed the concept of Pride Month and said that a woman's most important title is homemaker. That's pretty rich coming from a dude whose most important title is place kicker. Jesus Christ, <laughs> Harrison Butker. <laughs> uh, kitchen most definitely agrees with some of the things Butker said, but smartly <laughs> understands that. that Democrats watch the swole cast too. Back to you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Democrats draft. So, yeah. Oh wow, dude! Who decided to let you cook today, Peter? You, you. I guess you were you just feeling inspired. You just is just. A I, good I watched day the, the roast over? and I was feeling very inspired. I, I was yeah. like, God, that yeah. was too much fun. I did. Um, I, I did watch Pete's podcast or stream last week with uh, with Rick, and um, it was. It was good, and on the, uh, on there, he said that basically he gets to scratch his comedic itch on this show. Um, so with with this whole stand up thing, and I think that you have gotten increasingly better it is is really good. The timing of it, just impeccable. I appreciate if, that. I appreciate yeah, that. If Davis had to do the uh, over Zets overview, it would be like Randy Moss. Davis is more of an improviser, you know. He's I, yeah, I'm not musician. funny. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> funny if I had to write jokes. I, I would not be I would not be good. It's mostly <laughs> it's it's just all heat of the moment type stuff when I'm funny. Yeah. All right. Are we entering this? Uh, are the BBMV? Sure. Are we doing the math? Sure. Done. Four spots. Three. Go, Dave. Go. Two. Dave. Oh gosh. Yeah, no chance. Are you kidding me, David? I'm in. <laughs> what a slow roll. What a slow roll. Okay. Have you already memorized the eight week 17 matchups that have been leaked so far? Have there been eight week 17 matchups leaked? I I have eight written down. No. Uh, Okay. Are you going off of, Ooh, look at me with the one dot one. Hey Dave, can you bring up that screen for us? Wow. Wow. Look who it is. Look who decided to show up. Wow. Better late than ever. I I keep the company afloat. I run every (laughs) live show. I'm I'm sorry guys that I had baseball to do first. Mm -hmm. What a heat check from Sosa. Yeah. Big baseball day. Super important. Kitchen, no one knows you have the one on one because you have not shared the draft board. You've I did, shared. I did, I just shared okay. it. Okay. You know, Pete, how much do the do the week seventeen matchups matter though? I, I thought you were a little bit more of a week uh, week sixteen, bro. You know what? I consider myself uh, bi curious uh, when it comes to week seventeen and week sixteen. I'm uh, dabbling, experimenting a little bit, but week seventeen will always be my primary love. Yeah. On the clock, uh boy. Christian McCaffrey. Is he a free square? I don't I don't know. Let's go <laughs> with um <laughs> you know what? Let's go with Tyreek at the one dot <laughs> one. <laughs> let's live let's let's start living a little uh, early. Oh my goodness. By this for, for people that do not realize this is the first time I've even looked at rankings this year. Usually when we talk on this whole cast, I'm asking you guys what, you know, where someone's going, or you're asking me, where do I think someone going? This is the first time I'm having um, a look at it. And for those that are just now, you know, you're coming in off the street. Underdog is a half point PPR site. DraftKings full point PPR uh, drafters where I was a top 150 finalist last year is and how much how much did we ever did we ever determine how much that was worth in the end four figs around there something so um but yeah the way that uh, that I draft I don't think it's going to change this year for people wondering kind of the state of the union state of the best ball union like uh for saying that I have pioneered kind of some of the recent trends. I think I'm just going to keep going with those. I don't think anyone's better equipped to deliver a best ball state of the union than you, Dave. I would tune in for that hour. You preparing a 60 minute speech on where the best ball (laughs) industry is at right now. (laughs) 
<laughs> oh my gosh, Puka! What? What? Just a. I do. Arise. I do love this idea of Dave bringing free square terminology to <laughs> to best ball. I think I I Dave. I I think this should be a good bit. I think that you should continue this all all year long. And yeah, the people want to know what ranks are you using. Okay, so big announcement. Big announcement. Right now, I'm just using the default rankings. <laughs> that is a big announcement. <laughs> however, however, um, Fantasy Labs will so soon be home of Sean Kerner and Chris Raybon's rankings. And uh, they've won a lot of Fantasy Pros Awards, and they will be my staples this year. You know, I'm not going to be just tied directly wow, to those Chris, rankings. Chris Stan, too, just getting in there on IUK. Just getting in there nice and early, not giving Peter a chance. So all you ETR slappies. Um, just and know. when you when you say that it's going to be your go-to for ranks, you mean in that yeah. one other draft after you <laughs> top off your account with an extra dollar fifty? No. <laughs> Last year, I maxed the contest on DK, and I had quite a bit of contests on Underdog. Um, on the not not really the puppy but what was the 75 dollar one it was like a 10 max i did that um and, the bernie's uh, mountain dog the, i think if i remember maybe oh look i'm coming up okay we, so chat, uh, chat do we have a, a 49ers week 17 leak yet is that one of them yeah lions Oh, let's go. That's beautiful. That's perfect. So where are you getting these uh, these leaks? Is it from that leak account or it is it just like, like farming? It's like, it's, like, it's like Schefter and these guys. Kitchen, this is why you pass on CMC because you know you're going to have Kyron and A-Chan for you at the 2-3 turn. Too sharp. Yeah. I mean, A-Chan, that's a lot of Dolphins capital. But we're going for it. I'm going to pass on good. Kyron. Uh, don't feel good about him and uh, pass it on Kyron at the two three turn, huh, buddy? Yeah, let's go with uh, let's go with Laporta. Let's get a, a, a high end tight end before I'm not drafting for the next 20, 24, 25 picks. But I saw that one of the rumors with Titans were playing uh, the Chargers on Christmas night. How many rush oh. attempts in that game? How many rush attempts in, in Titans Chargers on Christmas Day? It's a new it's a new day for the Titans, Bub. Davis. It's not it's not your daddy's Titans. Davis, should I take Devontae Smith uh six picks ahead of ADP here to be the first person to reach for a Dallas Eagles week 17 correlation? No, you gotta take Kyron here, right? I am. <laughs> yeah. That's I mean, that's who obviously I would have taken. I am hoping to get uh Jalen Waddle. Do we have the do we have Dolphins week 17 chat? Do we have Dolphins Week 17? <laughs> Dolphins <laughs> Week 17. Anyone? Do we know? You're crowdsourcing <laughs> the the chat to oh you picked David Waddle. sounds like David sounds like he's doing like a fundraising drive. For I, so I was going, I was going for I was chat. going <laughs> for uh uh not Price is Right um one of those game shows like just like yeah you 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 knew what I was going for. I got okay, you. Pete. I'm seeing some of the regs in here. Um, the regs, Augsburg, Dingus, <laughs> a lot of other to totally. It, how do you badges. know they're regs, Davis? Because of the tens and tens of contests you played last year, Dave. Well, no, I'm talking about uh, in our little um show, you know, yeah, they're common. I, I will be honest, my question to you is Dingus. My question to you is, are you still like announcing ahead of time your your streams? Are you doing any like quick, you know, just off the cuff no. and then pressing live? No, I, I tip people off in the Deposit Kingdom Discord who are YouTube members. Uh, when I hop in drafts, I welcome drafting with friends, um, but I am pre-recording drafts. I did a draft the other day on the Deposit Kingdom channel. Uh, where it's not like I'm letting the world know every single time I enter into a draft. Yeah. But I'm not one of those people who worries about a room with people who want to draft like me. I can't be in yeah. it. Okay. That, this that was my question. spreadsheet that 
CLN2013 just sent me is like breaking my brain. There's a lot going on here. <laughs> you want to share I mean, with the with the chat? No, I how could I? It's a it's a Google Doc. What do you share? You can share your screen. I'm not going to share my screen, David. <laughs> <laughs> Peter can. Speaking of people that are scared about giving away top secret info. It is interesting, Davis, that you have, I've done tons of shows with you. It's very easy for a guest to share their screen on StreamYard. And yet you have never yeah. been willing to share yours. What are you hiding on that desktop? Of yours? I, you I'm, I'm it's like the, the Luca reporter in the back, basically. <laughs> This is a bad spot for me here. Josh Jacobs, dude, ADP value. No, Pacheco. Pacheco. Um, oh wow. God. Here, I will. Here, I, I will share. I will share this schedule. So you went Bijan and Pacheco, sandwiched between um, <laughs> two beta receivers with Debo and Jalen Waddell. Is that a legit strategy? You're asking me if taking wide receivers who score a lot of points is a good strategy. Well, I, like I taking taking a team's number two or number three wide receiver in the second. Well, Debo's the number one. Waddle, I mean, yeah, oh, is he big though? time. Okay. The, the, do you like points or touches or? I mean, he has the leads the team in everything. So what's your? Uh, we almost got a soccer day Votto pick. He just remembered it was his pick. No, I got it pulled up. I, I understand the assignment. Whoa. Looking at some screaming value, though. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, 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 baby. Like what, Kitchen? Uh, just wait. Just wait. It's what we like to call <laughs> the bully tight end right here. Kitchen doing the stack that has been readily available in every single draft <laughs> and just being so excited about it. <laughs> okay, I that's actually don't, okay. don't be I, don't be that guy, Pete. That's like, oh, oh, I've already seen this. I've already seen this part. <laughs> I, we, I just have. I'm sorry. You finally Peter, watched the that. movie. Here's the thing: I don't see the button to share my screen. <laughs> Present. <laughs> share Present. Screen. He thought it was present all this time. <laughs> Davis is like, what do I get if I open this? <laughs> like, I, what do I even make out of this? This is crazy. Yeah. This is very cool, but completely not helpful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lots of colors for those Lots that are uh, listening. Servicing yeah. the audio listeners. It's this just is a spreadsheet virgin who's overcompensating <laughs> a little bit here. <laughs> like, I, I, it, it is, it is helpful. But I don't, it's just like, it's taking me a second to figure out what I am, what I'm looking at. All so, right. Um, you want to watch? Many, go ahead. How many David. BBM, how many BBM drafts have you done already? I think just three. I've been waiting. Wow. I've been waiting for this. Really? Yeah, You've been I'm waiting doing... for what? The swole cast? <laughs> no, I've been waiting to get the week 17 games. To get it. I've been doing, I've been doing. I've been getting my drafters and my DraftKings stuff out of the way while well, I've been waiting. Oh, oh, big DraftKings announcement. Big <laughs> DK draft. announcement. Yeah, okay, no, let's hear it. This is big. For those that that don't know, like once you once you make over once you win over a million dollars on DraftKings, you can no longer enter. This is not true. I, so I I uh I No, 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 no. This Davis. is not true anymore. Would you wait? Would you wait till the announcement's over, please? Yeah, you're about to lie. I, I'm telling you from my own experience, I have not in five or six years, I have not been able to enter any contest under $3. So that is like no double ups under $5. I got an email that said I am now eligible for those uh, low stakes contest. Like we're back in the that. dollar and two dollar streets, like, baby. Like three years ago, they changed all the guidelines on that stuff. No. Yeah. Davis, but I haven't been us... eligible until just now. Davis is what I'm saying. Let's let's imagine that it's actually DK has a much more sophisticated system. So instead of arbitrary thresholds, it actually recognizes the skill level of drafters <laughs> and whether they should be allowed in $3 contests or not. <laughs> So, I mean, I think that's, I think that's 
uh, pretty big news. I wonder so if, Tuttle, you, uh... if Tuttle was here, he might have something to say as well about it. Where is Tuttle? Many have many have went, been wondering. Um, he said, someone said, um, are you going to be on? And he said, you can just assume I'm not going to be on unless it's a random week and I'll tell you when I'm going to be on. So off season Tuttle, not going to be a thing. He just don't, he just don't care about us anymore. Whatever. That's fine. No, he's grinding WW or WNBA projections. Like it's. Uh, I think I saw some tweet exchange. Let me let me get a promo for you, Dave. I, I saw some yeah. tweet exchange that uh, Roto Grinders is the only uh, content provider doing WNBA projections right now. Yeah, yeah, we've had a bunch of a uh, bunch of signups. Uh, and e- e- hey, ECR shout out to is not doing WNBA. I don't think so. Shout out to uh, huh. Kyle Murray, one of the the guys that that helps us out. Um, he placed second in the big WNBA contest last night. It's like he, go. Jamino, Tuttle, and a few others that are Dude, kind of... Dude, Caitlin making Clark's making teammates stink, bro. They are bad. They are a but bad... But she also WNBA had 10 game. turnovers. I mean, yeah, look, it was her uh, It was her, her first game. You know, the, I think she went 5 of 15 from the floor. Like, definitely was not great, but uh, but yeah, she did, she did not have a ton of help out there. Did you watch the full game? What did I did I see she had like double digit turnovers? Uh no, I did not. I did not watch the full game. She had 10 um, turnovers. Yeah. Yeah. Also known as no, double I digit did. turnovers. I I did not I did not watch the full game. The oh Thunder gosh, game I'm on the on. clock. Oh, we almost had the first auto pick of the year. Yeah, you are trying to get this. Okay, I've got Keon Coleman, Aaron Jones, Burrow, Don't worry, Kitchen, you're doing fine at wide receiver. You'll you'll catch up. <laughs> 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 All right, point taken. Uh, let's go, Keon. You never know with these rookies. Is this a uh, points per a... viral clips league or are we <laughs> powered <laughs> offense? The guy shops at Macy's, so he's one of us. Uh, boy. Oh. You know what? I just realized just happened to me, Peter. I I just right there with that Kittle pick became such a uh sophisticated auto drafting robot i i literally don't think i've taken kittle in a draft yet like 300 drafts in since january or whatever but the second we have the schedule and i'm focusing on these team level type things i'm like well i have debo and i already have purdy starred so i have to take the kid and it's just like do i even but like what, what does the is schedule have to do with that you knew the niners were all on the same team uh a week ago well too. now but now i'm just locked in now i'm just i am just hyper focused on on the team level correlations which is uh you could argue is not good why fact, is I jsn ranked good. so high like <sighs> bro he he had had a, i'm not trying to get had, i'm not he had trying a broken, to give away he had a broken he had a broken wrist last year dude the developmental curve got slowed it's gonna be fun <sighs> I'm not trying to give away all the alpha on the first show, but that seems pretty high. <laughs> it, uh, you know what? You, you just took Keon <laughs> Coleman, who's like has so many red flags on his profile, like one of the worst uh, picks we've seen in recent memory, and you just jammed him in the six. You can't talk shit about JSN. Oh, oh, his college profile. He didn't. Uh, have you seen Keon Coleman play? I watched one highlight. Dude, dude is a baller. <laughs> Did He's you a not baller. watch? Did you not watch the repurposed Just Brahms production video that I posted on Twitter, bro? <laughs> <laughs> and you get him, you get him with Josh Allen. I mean, who you else didn't. are they going to throw to? Oh. Who else are they going to throw to? I don't know. Curtis Samuel, Dalton Kincaid, MBS, Khalil Shakur, Dave, Dawson Dave, Knox. No, no research, going. no thought. Who scores more fantasy points this year, Khalil Shakur or Curtis Samuel? Hmm. Uh, Curtis Samuel still on the Commanders? No, no, <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> uh, prepare to learn, Luke McCaffrey, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dave doesn't even know about Nepo Baby McCaffrey. What do I, I do? I do because of all my rookie drafts. Like I, I know that I know where these rookies are just from dynasty leagues, but like okay. free agents. Like Curtis Sam is Curtis Curtis Samuel is on the uh, the Bills, yes. Curtis I'll Samuel's say him on the then, Bills just because he's he's such an athlete. 
Dave is a natural athlete. He also played basketball under Tom Izzo at Michigan State. Plus, outcome Jaden Reed. Good. The the comments are the comments are loving you. Gosh, Najee the Harris people... still going. Najee Harris still going like in a top seven round. Yeah. Wow. wow. The uh, we are we are in a little bit of a, a piss boys room here. That's yeah, every I'm, room that Pete's in. I'm look. Well, it's just I'm looking at my. I'm looking at um the the adp set right now and it's it's nothing but green it's all green yeah <laughs> but that also just kind of ha naturally happens by ADP in this, at this range point. yes yeah. yeah ah would have would have liked jalen warren on this team to correlate with my chiefs bro Okay, let's see who we got. My team, my team long is... summer for the correlation haters. We're back, my... baby. We are back. <laughs> my team is so ready to correlate Justin Fields with Rashi Rice in the sense that they both might be out of the league by week 17. You know what the best thing about drafting right now is? Of course, the schedule is coming out later tonight. Um, is that I don't have to like in my first draft last last year, my first draft, I had to worry about bye weeks. Like that was an extra element to like for instance, you're I not got even, you're not even sweating it right now, brother. I've got Laporta and Andrews, and I'm probably not going to take another tight end. But like last year, all the influencers keep shilling, you know, bully, bully tight end, Dave. I'm so, I'm sad to no. see you join the cabal. I've not, Davis. I started the cabal. I've been, <laughs> I've been drafting bully <laughs> tight end. <laughs> I've been drafting bully tight end back in MFL tens. Like this is not something new. Well, unironically, it's actually a good strategy in MFL tens. It's not so much a good strategy in this. So oh, says man. you. Anytime Correct. someone says it's not a good strategy, it just makes me cringe because we don't know it, the strategy every year changes and then we're going to get the 10 things that uh, you need to learn about this year's you know what we what we got wrong about last are year's you strategy. are you are you parry are you parodying my future 10 tweet thread dave is that is that what's no, going on I, there? I know it's i know it's coming mm. it is coming yeah we we're we're about that i mean i've got i've gotten some i i I've been meaning to announce this on the show. I, I have fought through the shadow ban. We are, we are coming out on, on the other side. I helped you do this. I don't know if I would give you any, I don't know if I would give you any credit for it, but even, even my tweets with links in them are getting like a reasonable amount of, uh, of views. So I, we are, we are, we are not all the way back, but we are on our way to being back. Drink every time David takes uh takes a Titan. You, is this is this a Will Levis team? Yeah, we Oh my gosh. Curtis call. Samuel plays for Buffalo, still not off the board. <laughs> in that <laughs> offense. In that offense, dude. <sighs> oh man, that's so good. Yes, Keon yeah. Coleman and Curtis Samuel. One of those guys are gonna pop and and might have spike weeks when you need them. Boy. This team's starting to come together now. Let's uh Damn. we're we're in the ninth round. Pete's on the clock. I'm just so Ooh. bummed I haven't been able to do any week 17 correlations with the eight matchups I know yet. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the star method is so alive and well in my queue right now. You have no idea. I can't please let's continue propagating the star method. I can't wait to hear unhappy users who accidentally <laughs> drafted nine Vikings with their first nine picks. <laughs> you know what? You know what's so funny is I was doing a DK draft earlier today, and guess what? The star method came up so big for me because I was about to time out. I was not going to be able to make my click, and I got an after ADP Kirk Cousins on a Bijan Pitts team thanks to the star method. It was, it was as beautiful as it gets. It was everything the star method is is meant to be let's um uh, let's talk a little bit about strategy stuff you might be changing this year looking at roster construction davis are you doing anything different compared to last year um probably more three quarterback teams uh just with the with the rookies with uh taking taking like 
Jared Goff, May, and McCarthy all together, stuff, stuff like that. Um, I actually, if anything, maybe more six running back teams because I'm pushing the zero running back stuff harder than in years past. Like I'll I'll Welcome. have some teams where I don't Welcome. have any running backs until like the eighth round, which is normally not really my thing. Uh, I, I prefer hero RB. Uh, yeah, and I you know I got poor shamed by by Brick, so I will um you know basically just be taking huge stands on players I only half believe in just to avoid getting made fun of on the internet. I love it. It's like when you should, I mean, yeah. He's, let's let's maybe service the audio listeners through through nine rounds here, guys. Let's, re, <laughs> re, let's each list our teams. Okay, I've got. Um, I, I'm going for dynamic playmakers, so I've got Tyreek with a one dot one, and then coming back with uh, A Chan and Laporta, and then Lamar Jackson, Mark Andrews, little stack action. I've got Keon Coleman and Curtis Samuel as two Buffalo's receivers. And then um, these guys just kind of fell to me. DeAndre Hopkins and Tony Pollard as well. Honestly, he, Dave, for your first team, perfectly cromulent. I, 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 ha- I hate the the double elite tight end. I think it's stupid, but this this is totally stupid. fine. <laughs> what? Okay. All right. Did did we just get did we get okay? The the freaking Ayuk drafter took Purdy from me when he already had anthony richardson at least he got the Jamison williams bring back dude <laughs> well no now i have to take goof yeah um my team so far uh no quarterbacks yet i got kyron aaron jones and, and this is the third the third pick yes the third pick my yeah. wide receiver yeah. cd lamb nico collins christian kirk jordan addison and Cortland sutton and tight end trey mcbride no ETR drafters in our room. Tyler Lockett, 10 Tyler picks Lockett past ADP. On the board. <laughs> um, I had the seventh pick. I have a Tua Waddle stack uh, running back room of Bijan, Isaiah Pacheco, Jonathan Brooks. My wide receiver room is Debo Samuel, Jalen Waddle, Xavier Worthy, Rashi Rice, and Jameson Williams. So not feel not, not a ton of uh not a ton of early season firepower with those guys. And then George Kittle at tight end missed out on purdy by by one pick kitchen deliberating at the 10 11 turn here yeah this is bad take tajay lock up the backfield lock up the backfield (laughs) dave took dave took the uh the only the only running back in the pool who runs a slower 40 than him austin eckler Oh man, I I should have if I had just a little more time, I would have gone with maybe uh Lawrence and Gabe Davis. Man, this, this is tough right now though. Let's uh let's He go doesn't even know. Oh, he got it in. He got it in, folks. Never doubt. I I'm glad you did because I would really like Trevor Lawrence as my first QB here, so thank you. <sighs> I am fading. Come on. Don't do this to me, room. Like these goofy these receivers yeah. are gross. Yeah, I need I need I need Jared Goof or this correlation masterpiece is going to fall apart. <laughs> Don't do it to me, Slick Willie. You've got your own you've no Detroit Lions or San Francisco 49ers. <laughs> You don't don't will it into existence. This guy also sniped Dak for me. He took him unstacked here, so he's a wild card. Slick Willie, <laughs> watch out for him. Oh, let's go. There you go. I uh, early early uh, early prediction now is uh, the 49ers Lions ends up being the big slappy game. That ends up being the the um, the what was it? Uh, Raiders Colts from last season. We're just like every person every. Every middle IQ person who thinks they're 140 IQ person loves 49ers Lions. I can see it. You know, where do you get your ideas? I mean, everyone's going to be on the 49ers Lions game. That is that is literally oh, what I just said. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like that's that's it, the obvious thing. It'll actually be interesting to see how that because everyone's going to want to run back the Amon Ra with Lamb, but this year do Amon Ra with either Debo or Ayuk. I guess Amon Ra Debo will be easier by ADP. Amon Ra Ayuk will be harder. 
You guys, the chat is the chat is these people. I try and help them. I really do. Are you, you guys talking really... about the DraftKings thing, Davis? No, no. Okay. These people, these people are are not remembering that uh, that Raiders Colts that people liked it because it was a dome game and they had so many cheap guys. Yeah, it was it was Anthony Richardson enthusiasm plus the dome game. And Adams and and I mean you had a bunch of guys you could get at the end. You could get Mayer and Downs and these guys super cheap. What what's the argument? They're they're just saying no one liked that game. No one no one Oh, people love that it. game. Yeah. Yeah, but Davis, you're saying you get those guys for cheap. I'm not sure you can get this is not the same level of cheap. Like you've got Amon Ra and Gibbs who went in the first round. I'm just saying it's going to all I'm saying is that it is going to be the slappy game. You're going to get you're going to get people drafting, you know, Khalif Raymond and uh and uh I don't know, there's not really a cheap I, uh, Isaac Girendo, you know, as uh as as their their <laughs> correlative pieces in the late round. Who is the guy you would definitely take as your rookie running back in San Francisco, Davis? Cody Schrader led the SEC in rushing by over 400 yards. In fact, his final season at Mizzou, he had more yards than Isaac Urendo had in his entire college career, brother. Let him cook. Let me cook, Dave. <laughs> I saw your tweet. It was that was a hot that was right out of the hot take cannon. Well, it's, it's, and you know, the thing you don't appreciate about it, Dave, is that it is off type that I used to be all about the, I used to be all about the speed score, you know, and, uh, and I've learned and grown and, and, and matured. You've got Hawkinson that just went off at 140. That feels like a pretty good pick right there from Slick Willie. Mm -hmm. Boy. Why? Kitchen. Yeah, why why will Hawkinson be a good pick? Why is that a good pick there? Well, you've got a guy that has like elite tight end upside late in the twelfth. And I don't even know what tight end he is off the board, but it's gotta be quite a bit. Also, uh looks like his ADP was two rounds earlier. Mm. So wow. Pete, you're on the board right now. You're a real Damn. value hound, Dave. I kind of, I'm going to click a guy. Dude. I have not clicked much at all in Jerome Ford. Ooh. I know. I wanted Jalen Wright and I got, isn't, slated. isn't Jerome, <laughs> Jerome Ford. What if I, if I, what, what price would you give me Jerome Ford versus Dante Foreman half point PPR fantasy? That's player? my issue <laughs> because I'm on cost adjusted. I, I like the, uh, the Foreman side. You are you are just simply too much of an ADP, bro. You did not want to scroll the F down for Ray Davis there. Yeah, that's a little too much. Because any of those guys I'm going to be able to get at this pick too, so. Just need to live a little, Peter. You know, there's just it's no true. there's no point in being so locked into these marginal fake ADP values, you know. I know. What the heck? <laughs> Do it for the bit. Do it for the bit, Dave. <laughs> Deshaun Watson unstacked. You love to see it. Oh my God, Kitchen, that's too good. Oh, Dave. But again, Dave. going with playmakers, Lamar Jackson and Deshaun Watson. <laughs> Dave, so all these guys gave the people what they wanted, and we all, all these guys too are going to make plays. <laughs> I love it, kitchen. Oh, who's your uh, who's your back stack gonna be? How are you gonna how are you gonna correlate <laughs> your boy? Uh, I guess we'll have to look. I mean, obviously, Aaron Rodgers would have been the easy one there. Mm-hmm. Could have gotten with Corley. Um, Pete, who do you think is the worst pick on the board right now? Oh, that's a fun one. Let me scroll through and see who have I not. Uh, George Pickens at 42 is is one of them that I have not clicked George Pickens once. I think it's a pretty bad pick. I don't know if I can say that's the worst. Michael Pittman, another guy I have not clicked at all. Yeah, that one feels feel very real good. bad. Mm, what What's your candidate? 
I feel like it has to be someone up top. It's like hard to say like a 10th rounder is the worst. I mean, I think, I think the worst ADP is the commander's fullback being like a 12th round pick. You know, it's not, it's not great. Um, I, I, I'm having, I'm I've, I've rejected oh, this. Oh, Zamir like, White. Stand- Zamir White is the worst pick. He's Zemir not White the, worst is the worst pick. pick. Yeah. He, Zamir White would have been the worst pick two years ago because he would have gone in the third round, but now he's a eighth round pick. Wherever he Yeah, goes. why is he the worst pick when he's like a starting running back, Davis? I mean, I just don't don't know don't know that uh that we can say that with hundred percent confidence. Who's gonna start over him? Madison. Is it maybe yeah. because Davis is biased having drafted a ton of a guy who then agreed to come on his podcast, <laughs> who he's now hoping to meet in person, and that might be coloring. No, I, I, I had I had zero percent Zamir White in the big board too. I David, I'm not talking about Zamir White, I'm talking about Mr. Lauby. I know, but it, I think I think like Zemir saying a starting running back the most if Zamir yeah. White fails. <laughs> Zamir White, Zamir White is uh, he is the fallacy of projectable volume in in human form. But I but we're not paying like he's getting drafted where committee backs get going. All get right, drafted. all right, I'll, I'll take it back. I will. Uh, Jalen Ward save. went ahead of him. I mean, that's fine, but you're not paying, you know, for projectable I think, volume I think, in that. I range. think uh, I think that Kamara is is definitely a candidate for that of just being like a guy who's just like almost useless. I don't know. I we, Sinnott, we just it don't. just sucks cuz I I love Ben Sinnott and it's a cool story and we went to the same college but he it's getting a little rich. What what's what's the opportunity cost of the Ben Sinnott pick still? I mean, ADP ceases to matter around the range he's going anyways. It's no yeah. longer predictive of fantasy performance. What are you missing out on by taking Ben Sinnott? around ahead of ADP. Well, other good players. Like? I really kind of... This whole range is kind of guys I like. Like, like Dontavian Wicks versus Ben Sinnott, or, or Jermaine Burton versus Ben Sinnott, you know? Like, those are guys who, like, I think could be, like, legit league winners. I would say Jermaine Burton has just as wide range of outcomes, just as many concerns about his ability to earn targets and plays at a like a less important position relative to when it hits in that I mean, range. Peter, please do not make me be the the negative uh Ben Sinnott. Did bro. you guys You're see the negative Ben Sinnott guy? You he said he's made... the worst pick on the board. <clears throat> what kitchen? Did you see the catch that Burton made in practice yesterday? I didn't. Oh. It's a routine catch, but still it was in slow. Did it make you feel things? Really pretty. Hmm. It's like the new Tyler Boyd. But, well, I hope he, we should hope not. Why? The new Tyler Boyd. Tyler Boyd was like never an exciting player. Bur- Burton is a, a, a downfield guy. You think he's going to be the second option there for the Bengals? No, but he's just got a lot of outs. Like a guy like that has a lot of outs. Like he's got 97 targets with a lot of that target volume coming in the second half of the year. He's got chase injury. He's got T injury or T getting traded burrow having like an MVP caliber season out. Like he's just got like a lot, a lot of outs. Or he might be behind, you know, Andre Yoshi boss in, in week one. That's also possible. I'm going to come back and agree with the Davis point here in a second. If, uh, see, depending on how this board breaks. Don't do it, Dave. You son of a bitch. What? N- needed that. Needed Jaleel McLaughlin. This team was begging for Jaleel McLaughlin. Oh, sorry. You mean Blake Just Watson, one. bro? No, no, I don't. I don't mean the, the like nine year college player, Memphis running back. I meant Audric Estime, bro. I heard I heard Javante Williams might get cut, might be a camp casualty, might be might be Audric Estime season. <laughs> uh 
I saw that neither of you guys were going to take tight ends there. I feel pretty good about Luke Musgrave at 171. I will agree with Davis. Why Why take Ben Sinnott at pick 140 when you can get Luke Musgrave at 171? Yeah, the the Musgrave ADP, I was taking none of him early, and I was taking Kraft instead. But now yeah. that you could just get both of them super cheap, it feels fine. I was doing the same thing, uh, just mainly Kraft, fading Musgrave. But now, I mean, he's getting real cheap. Yeah, he is. I got I got extremely fant pilled on ship chasing uh on on Monday like just looking I at like the Seahawks him. I just was like looking at the Seahawks depth chart and I'm like you know there's not even a Will Disley on the depth chart anymore like like Tyler Mabry bro <sighs> Yeah Davis what's your thoughts on the New York Giants this year of hard knocks fame uh, my thoughts are that Daniel Jones is good season. The season that got him a $160 million contract extension included 17 passing touchdowns. So I'm a little worried about Malik neighbors, but I do, I am very intrigued by what an offense would look like. If it's like Tyron Tracy and Wandale and Hyatt and neighbors and everyone is just like, like that is like a fast dynamic offense. You know, we like, let's say we get Bellinger out of there Waller retires and it's Theo Johnson. Like there's a lot of fun things they can do. I just don't know if, like, I don't know if Daniel Jones can be a point guard for, for that system really is the issue. That's what I think, Dave. Fair enough. I saw Tyrone Tracy in the 14th and was a little bit surprised. People are, people are saying he's the new David Johnson, but you look at these running backs though. Um, I'm, I'm obviously I got a good one with Jaleel McLaughlin, but you've got um, after after <laughs> after Jaleel goes, it go they go to zero. After after Jaleel goes, it goes to like absolute zero. Bucky, Kamani, <sighs> Gibson, like I mean, just a lot of question marks there. But I mean, that's kind of the name of the game, right? Nailing those question marks. Dave, who do you yeah. think starts the most games at quarterback for the Pittsburgh Steelers in 2024? I mean, I guess I would say Russ. Like, I think they've got a decent team. And they definitely do have a decent team. I don't I don't think that is even I don't think you can Right. And so that. I think that Russ is the best player for that's like just don't screw it up kind of thing. And then the only way that Fields sees the field is if they, if Russ gets hurt or if uh, they're, you know, six and, or three and seven or something like that. And he comes on the, the last bit of the season. I found myself so, getting a little Justin Fields pilled the last couple weeks it doesn't I mean, feel I, very it does not feel very healthy unlike my I, probiotics and my fish oil and my vitamin d yeah. and my magnesium it does not feel like a pill no, that i'm taking that's good for my health no creatine powder bro i take eight grams of creatine a day oh you've narrowed it to eight grams not the full 10 I like it um yeah, I will say that I looked at a bunch of my early drafts. You know, I'm always a student of the game. So I looked at a bunch of my <laughs> early drafts from last year. And you had a choice to make earlier on in these drafts, and that is Purdy or Trey Lance. And I found myself taking a lot of the upside of Trey Lance, thinking if he does get the start, you know, whatever, he's going to be really good. And then he got traded before I could even take off. Like, so... I'm a little bit jaded by that. Understandable. Always a student of the game, you know, and that's one of the things that we really appreciate you for David is that you were yeah. just kind of always. Well, and you're getting you know, there of... Davis. Like you, <laughs> like you're actually, you're going to school. All now. time. Neg all time. Neg from David. <laughs> you, you are going to school now. You like in the past, you would you would probably be arrested for truancy, like best ball truancy, and never go, <laughs> never wanting to learn, just <laughs> sticking with the societal norms. And now you are, uh, you're going to school and you're you're learning. 
So I'm super proud of you. I'm doing my best, Dave. You took Fields in the 16th, though. I did. This team after this Tua team was, and Goof. This team was a, a three needed a three quarterback. Davis, I want you to know how good this click is about to feel. I am correlating. He's not going to get traded. I am correlating week 17 Khalil Herbert with Tyler Lockett. Where so Oh, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> oh, so back. We are are people are saying that Khalil Herbert and Tyler Lockett is this generation's Ertz Algier. They are saying it. Do you know how broken correlation bros are? Like Khalil Herbert could get traded to the Cowboys in like 20 minutes. And I'd be like, shit, that correlation shit. doesn't work anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, Peter, do you want to know the great bit is that the Ertz Algier correlation is back on? Wait, because are they? Ertz is a commander and Algier is a Falcon. It's back oh, on. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> it never left. I need to actually, you know what? I need to, I need to at Josh Norris about that. <laughs> I'm sure he'll love that one in his mention. <laughs> this dude just trying to uh, be a YouTube mogul, enjoy his Premier League soccer team, and Davis is going to flood the best ball bros into his mentions. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, man, I actually did not want to have this good of a draft. Uh, for my first draft, <laughs> I did. I didn't. I want it to be kind of an ugly draft where I feel like I it had a kitchen. lot of room for What does Will Levis do for this team? Yeah. What does Will Levis do for this team, Dave? What does Will Levis do for this team? It's it's not necessarily about what he does for the team. It's really about what he can do for the week, and that's all you need him for is that week. We don't know who he's playing Here, against. Dave, he's, here's yeah. here's a good here's a good rule of thumb. Good yeah. rule of thumb. If you take a quarterback before the sixth round, you do not need a third. Unless injuries happen. I you know what? You just never know. You don't you don't. <laughs> and so this is the thing that you guys are trying to place these roster uh you don't need if this then that kind of uh sets of rules. I would think that you would both know that I don't live my life like that. The point is, Dave, is the Levis pick was fine. You just don't make the Watson pick. You can roll Lamar and Levis as yeah. your two. What does it do for my team? I don't know. We'll see. We just don't know. What does it do for my brand? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you find a correlated piece? Did you draft Elijah Moore or or Dante Foreman to get the correlated piece with your your franchise quarterback? Don't you worry about it. Um, Levis has way more dog in him than Burrow. Callahan will bring it out. Office patina said it, not me. Guys, yeah. the, like we said, the issue is not the Levis pick. The Levis pick made sense. You had that in your back pocket. Listen, I just want playmakers. John Watson made no sense. I just want playmakers on my team. He just could Deshaun Watson be a bust? Sure. But that's why I've got Will Levis to offset that. Yes. Play for safety. It's playmaker insurance. I just want I just want ballers on my team, really. I mean, that's what I'm looking for. Guys that ball out. And if you look at my squad, you can see that. Ooh, I mm. do like that Jatavian Sanders, Bryce Young stack. That's you nice. would. You that would be that would be. Are are you not worried about all your uh, aggressively drafted Tommy Tremble bags? Tommy though? Tremble. Yeah, I don't know. I put in a few waivers for him in a few dynasty uh, leagues, startup leagues, or not startup leagues, you. but uh, free agent drafts. We just want playmakers, you know. At the end of the day, Peter, look at my team real quick. Do you think this is an eight wide receiver team or a six running back? It's probably an eight wide receiver team with with Rashi. Ah. Uh... With with Rashi, it's, dude. It's this this Evan Hall team. pick is what is going on. This is a six running back team. <laughs> Evan Hall. <laughs> uh, no, Davis. no. You're right. You're right. You're right. Bijan and Pacheco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Are you? you uh, are you? Two beta are you, receivers. Are you offended by? Uh, are you offended by the 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 Evan Hall pick? Yeah. He's very he's very lowby. If you if you look at his player profile or stuff, he's very lowby. 
So you're saying the only utility he's going to have for this squad is that he might come on your podcast? <laughs> well, he went to Northwestern. If he went to Northwestern. I don't want him on my podcast. Huh. Man, we so have like some. This, Ron, this is fun for me to see some of these dart throws that are happening. Rondale or Greg Dorch? Rondale or Greg Dorch? Short Rondale. King summer can't go wrong. All right, Rondale. I already have. I already have Falcons. So beautiful. Okay, so Davis, your team is been boy. Davis is this team that you drafted is is right. Uh, Getting sniped on Purdy hurts a good bit. I I would have hmm. I would have greatly preferred to have. Purdy instead of Tua. I did some cheap handcucking, fellas. Forgive me for my sins. Same. I'm about to. I Star love method. handcucking. <laughs> What's your favorite handcuck on the board? So help me. Rico Zeke has got to be the best one, right? That's a pretty fun one. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, baby. You know what? You know what? So <laughs> He had Jamari I... Thrash in the game. <laughs> Dude literally just learned who Jamari Thrash was by typing in CLE. Yes. CLE. He was a rookie. <laughs> should I should I label these drafts so that because last year, remember, my second and third draft were the ones yeah. that were really good. All right, let's let's recount these. Uh I yeah, and I gotta I gotta get going here too. I gotta I gotta show okay. it too. Okay, so I'll just start. Reek with the 1.1, one one, A-chan. Aren't we roasting um, each other's? Don't we have to do that okay. real quick? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, but good luck with mine. Did, I mean, who wants the easier one? Davis, do you want to do kitchen? I feel like no, I'm you, enough you can you can you can do kitchens. Kitchen will do mine, and then I will do yours. That's always how we. All do right, it let's make year. this quick here. Uh, all right, yeah. kitchen uh, took Tyree Kill one hundred one because he wants to have zero percent Christian McCaffrey and CD Lamb this year. Good one. <laughs> uh, took Devon Achan because they both play on the same team. Sam uh, Laporta at pick twenty five. <laughs> Jeez, kitchen. Uh, Lamar Jackson, Mark Andrews. Kitchen thinks he invented that stack despite. Thousands of drafters having already done it. Keon Coleman at pick 72 because Kitchen realized it's not a viable strategy on underdog to go through six rounds without only one wide receiver. <laughs> Came back and clicked DeAndre Hopkins because go Tennessee. Uh, then Tony Pollard because go Tennessee. Then he took Curtis Samuel, who he just learned isn't on the commanders anymore, and then learned what a great fit is on the bill. So come on down. <laughs> At 120, Kitchen, in a fit of panic, randomly clicked Austin Eckler at the top of the queue. Zero conviction in that pick. He then took Gabe, about that. He then took Gabe Davis at 121, and I believe the logic was he wanted to go Trevor Lawrence and Gabe Davis, which makes some <laughs> kind of sense, but then still just but took, Gabe, still Davis. took <laughs> Gabe Davis. But then still took Gabe Davis. <laughs> then he took Ricky Pearsall at 144, which is a fine pick. Deshaun Watson, an absolutely egregious, unjustifiable, unstacked, complete waste of a not, pick that he tried to not salvage with more, <laughs> that he tried to salvage. He took Jaleel McLaughlin to really uh, twist the knife on Davis took Rashad Bateman at pick 169 because he had to lock up that double stack. Just take Devontae Walker in the last round instead. Kitchen Keaton Mitchell again at 192. Famously the guy who loves where TJ Hawkinson went also likes Keaton Mitchell at 192. Then took Will Levis because Will Devis has that dog in him. Also Tennessee Titan and then Elijah Moore, who could have potentially have been Jamari Thrash? Awful first draft kitchen. Well done. No, oh, it's so good. I have my stacks already. Like this for a first draft, this is really good. Um, Davis has reportedly done a bunch of drafts. I'm not <laughs> seeing it. He has just created <laughs> the the beta best ball <laughs> draft strategy. Uh, Bijan, fine. Um, then he goes with wide receiver twos and Debo and Jalen Waddle. Pacheco, big surprise there with Kansas City, follows up with Xavier Worthy and uh, Kittle. And while we're on the Kansas City train, why not Rasheed Rice? Uh, because if we saw anything last year is that drafting as many Kansas City Chiefs as possible is the correct strategy, especially when it's not Travis Kelsey. Uh, rookie Jonathan Brooks, fine. Jameson Williams, Tua, Goof. And then it gets just uh, – the 
about the unsexiest draft you could have. If we if we in. covered the names on no. these teams, how many of these final picks other than Fields, how many teams could Dave name of my final six picks? No, like Dontavian Wicks. Yes. Did I draft him on my dynasty team last year and he <laughs> proved a great sixth round pick? Yes. But drafting the twelfth round, uh, whatever. Ray Davis, Corley, Fant, Justin Fields, Evan Hull, and Rondell Moore. Ugh. Gosh, there's living a little and there's dying a lot. Davis, go for it. Yeah, Pete is begging for 18.2 fantasy points per game out of his quarterbacks with Trevor Lawrence and Geno Smith. He is not scared of Blake Corum. He drafts Kyron Williams. He then takes uh, a guy with no known hamstrings, Aaron Jones, a bunch of running backs who weigh uh, about 183 pounds. Trey Benson drafts Jerome Ford while acknowledging that he actually greatly prefers Dante Foreman, so then he rectifies <laughs> that mistake by handcucking with the aforementioned Dante Foreman. Bucky Irving, who's competing for snaps with the greatest running back in the world, our boy, Patrick Laird. He takes Khalil Herbert as a correlation play, just really hoping he doesn't get traded. Great pick with CD. Uh, he read my fades list yesterday with the Houston <laughs> Texans, so he decided to take Nico Collins. It's actually fine now because they get to play the Ravens in week 17. Christian Kirk, fine pick. Jordan Addison, fine pick. Cortland Sutton, I mean, look, anytime you can get the downfield threat with the guy who threw 75% of his passes three yards in college, you got to do it. <laughs> Tyler Lockett drafting off the established the run ranks, value hounding. Jalen Polk, I actually have no issue with it. And uh, Trey McBride, I mean, look, anytime you can pass up a bunch of running backs for the guy who's going to see less targets than Greg Dorch and Marvin Harrison Jr., you got to do it. And then drafts the Packers' second tight end, seventh line for targets, Luke Musgrave, at pick 171. Also, Dave, great, yeah. great question here. How did you not draft the King in this draft? What What are we doing, man? I, Your first draft I draft the King's you backup. The hits? I draft the King's backup. He's getting up there in age. I drafted his backup, Keaton Mitchell. So there you go. Pete, final thoughts before you have to go? Uh, no, Kitchen. Uh, I'm surprised. Did, didn't you say you had – uh, an appointment at two to watch the Harrison Butker commencement speech for the Ted. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Davis. <laughs> You know, uh, everyone, I'm looking forward to seeing all of you in my rooms all summer long. You have 113 yeah. days left to draft the team that will create life changing money. Uh, although you will have to win multiple tournaments to earn one whole. Karain. So sit, yeah. sit with that. Yeah. I'll just say that uh, people th say that I can't uh, duplicate the success I've had over the past few years in my best ball tournaments. Uh, if this draft is any sort of indicator, I'd say they are great. They're going to be greatly disappointed this year. So on uh, behalf of me, Pete Davis and uh, producer Sosa that decided to join us eventually. Uh, we appreciate you all hit the like button, subscribe road to 10 K it's on this summer. It's best ball summer, 2024. We'll see you next time next week here on rotogrinders.com. It's a swole cast. Peace.